The Galaxy Buds 2 has better noise cancelling and passive isolation than the Galaxy Buds Pro, but it's not the best pair of noise cancelling earbuds yet. Samsung's ANC quiets low frequencies and makes them one quarter as loud as they would sound without the earbuds in at all. You will notice a difference when tickling noise cancellation on and off. Although most listeners will find something comfortable from one of the three ear tape provisions, not everyone will. This again is where it would be nice to have wings that keep the earbuds stable. I don't experience consistently good ANC as the chart depicts because I can't get the earbuds to stay in place. See, a strong physical seal between the ear tips and your ear canal is required to block out the most amount of noise and let the ANC shine. You may have better luck in this department than I. When you buy the Galaxy Buds 2, you are investing in a pleasing frequency response that reproduces a variety of music genres well. You will notice the relatively boosted sub bass notes and appreciate how the mix remain clearly audible. Unless it's a particularly busy song full of bass instruments, most listeners will like the greater sense of clarity from strings, small woodwind instruments and better intelligibility to speed sounds. In Jack Greer's song Melatonin, the background guitar strums are hard to hear over the low-pitched electric guitar strikes during the chorus. Similarly, some rasp from the Greer's voice is lost during the chorus too. When I turn up the volume beyond 50%, you will notice this if you are listening critically and trying to find faults with the response when out and about. The Galaxy Buds 2 sound is great. You can definitely use the Galaxy Buds 2 for phone calls, but keep your expectations realistic. This can't compare to an external boom mic. Samsung's triple microphone system reads as impressive. The Galaxy Buds 2 is a good buy for listeners who want reasonably priced earphones with solid sound quality and fast charging. Although a greater rating than IPX2 would be nice, the Galaxy Buds Plus has helped up over the years without issue. I sincerely hope Samsung fixes the sensitivity of its earphones touch panel, but that won't be solved by switching to another pair of Galaxy Buds. Ultimately, the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 doesn't break new ground, it simply performs well and has solid noise cancelling for the price. Still, if you don't care for noise cancellation, the Galaxy Buds Plus is a true treasure that compares favorably to the Google Pixel Buds series. Alternatively, if you want a more attractive earbud design with a few more software features and much better microphone quality, get the Galaxy Buds Pro instead. The Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 isn't a breakout set of earbuds, but it does its job well as an everyday headset. The sound quality is sure to be pleased most listeners and the noise cancelling, while not the best, is quite good for the price. Even still, you might find it hard to justify this compared to the more advanced Galaxy Buds Pro and more comfortable Galaxy Buds Plus. Samsung is motivated to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with its adversary Apple and the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 is the latest set of noise cancelling earbuds in Samsung's confusing portfolio. This time around, the company blends premium features like active noise cancelling with Bluetooth 5.2 at a reasonable price. While there is plenty to like about these earless earphones, the Galaxy Buds 2 may get lost between its siblings, the Galaxy Buds Pro and Galaxy Buds Plus. Still, these mid-tier earphones must serve someone. Time to break down the Samsung Galaxy Buds line to see how the Galaxy Buds 2 stacks up against the rest. We spent one week with the Galaxy Buds 2 and are ready to share everything you need to know about these wrong buds. Those who already own a pair of Galaxy Buds will feel right at home with the Galaxy Buds 2 from the hardware to the software. The Galaxy Buds 2 has a playful rounded design that shapes both the earbuds and USB-C case. It's a shame that Samsung omits detachable wing tips from this model, which makes the fit less secure than with the cheaper Galaxy Buds Plus. Those who dare can use this as workout earbuds as they merit an IPX2 rating. Just be sure not to jostle your head too much. Doing so will just shake the earbuds loose. Samsung always packs its headsets with plenty of advanced technology and sensors. And we see the same thing here, the reliable proximity sensors enables automatic play pause when removing the buds. Playback doesn't resume when reinserting the earbuds, instead you need to tap either touch panel 
As with all the Samsung earphones, the touch controls are both intuitive and hypersensitive. The Galaxy Buds 2 often registers accidental taps when adjusting the earbuds, something that happens often and sends media into a syncopated frenzy of skips and pauses. To avoid this, your only option is to turn off touch controls altogether. Samsung doesn't reinvent its charging case as it has the same shape as the Galaxy Buds Pro and less popular Galaxy Buds Lite. It looks great and easy to open with one hand thanks to the clearly defined lip that separates the lid from the base, the aggrippier texture which make it even easier to use but we can add to the wish list for the next generation Galaxy Buds. Internal magnets keep the lid closed and they work faithfully. Anytime I drop the case, the lid stays shut and prevents the earbuds from flying to the not so far corners of my living room. Two lids sit on the case, one on the outside and one on the inside. The outer lid communicates how much battery life is left in the case while the inner lid indicates the earbuds battery. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, feel free to share it with your friends and keep watching Best Buy to get your top nose day to day commodities.